Welcome back to the Smite Pro League. We're coming out with set number two. Team Dignitas out of Europe going up against Team Justice. Yeah, Justice. Both these teams have really been at the bottom of the European standings for the past couple splits. Haven't been relegated. They remain in it, but, you know, Dig not making too many roster changes. But today they will be playing with Snakeskin, former London Conspiracy solo laner, for the solo lane. That's right. Um, Variety not going to be playing today. Whether or not that's going to be stronger is yet to be seen. Uh, Variety known as kind of a, 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 maybe not a weak link per se, but definitely not performing to the standards that we have saw from someone like Dimmy. But of at course. the same time, chemistry might suffer here, but we're going to start out with the profile for Team Justice. And they've brought in a few new faces. Vex says former Mortality member yes. coming in as their mid laner. They've they've kept Sausage and, and Q and who I think have were their highlights last split, and they've gone forward and, and picked up uh, excuse me, Fex says, Zephyr, and vote in BK. This roster to me is a lot stronger than it was. I am such a huge fan of Qin. We have known about him since uh, before the launch tournament. Yeah. Always winds up in a sub. Never really found himself on a team for too long. But I think this roster, if they work together, perhaps you know they're they're starting to fall behind a little bit. It's still early in the split. A win here could do a lot for them, and I think they could do it. Yep. Let's take a look at Team Dignitas, though, and it's the same, you know, core four that we've seen. And Shadow Nightmare for me, he's the highlight for this team. And if he goes big, that's when Dig can win. And when he goes real big, he, they can face Fnatic, they can face Epsilon, they could face Paradigm, but it all comes down to him, in my opinion. I think Shadow Nightmare is a star. I have always I thought he's a star. The dude plays at a, at a level far beyond most players in the world, and that includes, I would even say, most of the pros. I mean, this guy is an all-star mid laner. The rest of his team has got to catch up to him in chemistry because it's not just his ability to make those crazy plays. Mm -hmm. His trust in his team, even when they're underperforming, is outrageously powerful. It's it's super strong. Let's take a look at picks and bans, though. The last time these teams faced was actually June 7th. It was in the middle of the summer split, the fourth week. And, you know, Dignitas, they took away Ares both games. It's a real power pick for Qin. Something to note here, both these teams did lose their first week matchups, but Qin was not playing for Justice at it's that true. time. It's true. Uh, Team Dignitas, though, again, will have a sub today. Snakeskin will be playing in the stead of Variety. Sirket going to get banned away. No surprise. Second ban here for Team Justice. Now, since their first pick, Al Kwong is likely not to be banned here. Um, we'll probably see a ban from Team Dignitas. This, to me, this should be Janus. Janus is strong, and I'd have to say one of Fexes's and Shadow Nightmare's better gods. You're not going to be able to allow that get to get through because it will be picked up by either team in the first phase. And, yeah, Janus going to get locked away there. Shadow Nightmare's Janus is, like, insanely good. And that's a god that he doesn't really need set up from the other team. That's a god that yeah. he can make big plays, or, or or without the rest of his team, he can make big plays on his own. Final ban here, likely, and I, again, likely to be Alquang. Uh, Fenrir Ares still available. I think two very contended picks here. Uh, it's going to be Alquang. Just as Bologna is available, will they will they grab her? And Bologna, if available, has been the main pickup in that first pick position uh, with Al Kwong being out almost every single time. It's just such a strong flex pick. It brings so much not only to the soul lane and jungle, but Europe really likes it in the support role as well. And even though it doesn't have that high of a damage output late game, what it brings is a lot of utility. You have a slow, you have a giant AoE stun, giant AoE protections, and a disarm. She's, she's really good, is what Kevin just said. Really, really good. Really good. Like... Pretty, pretty much really good. <laughs> Are they going to pick her, though? They're, they're spending a lot of time. It's going to be Fenrir. Another character that does insane damage unchained. If you have five runes, you know, you're looking at 300 plus damage plus an AoE stun on your landing point with then half cooldown. Brutalize, not broken by almost every character in the game. Does a ridiculous, in fact, one of the hardest hitting physical abilities in the game. Nowadays, we've really seen Fenrir come to fruition in the jungle, but Sausage has been playing oh, this no, as soul lane just like Divios for quite so some time, and it's almost guaranteed going to be going there. Ares picked up in response. That's going to be going to Frezzo, which not only is it a good pick for Frezzo, but it's a good takeaway from Qin. Yeah, I think that's the big key, is that Qin loves this god, and being able to grab that away is big. Now, Shadow Nightmare is going to get Isis here. I like this. Shadow Nightmare is one of the original Isis players. Back when she was considered not very good, you had Sayo, you had Mace, and in my opinion, you had Shadow. I agree, and you know, Isis is going to be a great pick against this Fenrir, because... 
if your silence is down, it becomes dangerous, but you have so much control against the Fenrir. You have the silence. You also have the Spirit Ball stun coming out. And as well, you can take... If Fenrir jumps on you and dives you very hard, you could pop that Circle Protection and, and very quickly turn it around. Agni going to be locked in here. One of the best counters to Isis, if not the best counter to Isis. The biggest stun in the game for, you know, trying to shut her down mm -hmm. during laning phase. That's very important because cutting out her feet from under her by stopping that wing gust and stopping that clear potential is the key to making sure that she doesn't reach the end game fast enough to make her team strong. Sylvanas drafted for Justice. That's going to be going to QN in the support role. And you can never go wrong picking Sylvanas. There's a couple gods in the game that no matter what, if you pick them, you can't go wrong. Agni and, and Sylvanas are two of those gods. Quintessential characters. They don't have a ton of weaknesses. They have a lot of strengths. They fit on a lot of comps. Han Bots, though, again, one of those characters. You can't really go wrong. Great interrupt, good damage. The only difference here is that he cannot fall behind or that game just ends. And he's going to be pressured early. I mean, the matchup versus Fenrir, he's just not going to have any kill potential until he's level 5. And even when he's level 5, it's going to be rough for him versus that Fenrir. He's going to almost have to jump away from Brutalize every time it comes out or even use fear no evil just to get away. So looking back at uh, Justice, we started to see maybe a little bit of the chink of the armor for Sausage as he tends to play the same few gods over and over. Mm -hmm. And when he doesn't get one of them, he doesn't seem like a super strong player as if uh, he was playing with a character like Hell. Uh, also curious, Bastet getting taken away. I'm a little bit surprised about the Bastet. That, that may just be a direct matchup, but even then, Hunbat's already locked in. It could go solo. Maybe it's a matchup that he doesn't, Sausage doesn't like versus a Fenrir in the solo lane. It's possible. And again, it could be Fenrir solo. We're going to find out here what they choose to do. Uh, their best bet would be to find some kind of flex pick. Otherwise, Osiris, a really standard pick. Doesn't lose a lot of matchups. We'll get through the laning phase very well, and she'll stick in the end game to characters like Ares. Can use the Lord of the Afterlife to stop the healing from Isis. Could be effective, but oh, whoa, Nua. Okay, so Nua is going to be the mid laner here, and it looks, or I'm sorry, the the solo laner. This is curious. The last time we saw Nua in solo, I think was Shing at no, regionals. No, that was not. Don't remind me of that game. I don't think Shing wants to be reminded of that game. Poor Shing. It, it, it wasn't his role. It didn't count, man. It really wasn't his role, and I, I, I think that's Have we seen Nua since then it. in competitive play? In the solo lane? No. I mean, we've seen her picked up in the mid lane actually pretty frequently recently. I, I'm not exactly sure what the inclination for it is if it's a god that these players really like. I mean, the, the clay soldiers provide a lot of spacing for your gods and can really shut down a lot of a lot of players, but Tier picked up in response, going to be going up against Sausage in the solo lane. I wonder who Sausage is going to go. It's, it's got to be Nua. Agni. I mean, it could, oh, be, it could Ag be Agni. That actually happened uh, over in Latam last week. It's not bad. And it was played by, I believe it was Stinger played it in solo lane. We got Nua. So it is going to be, okay, no, you're right. It's going to be Nua solo. That's going to be an interesting matchup here. Again, I don't think we've seen this since Shing. You know, back when we saw a lot of mages in the solo lane, that was like almost a year ago. I'm trying to think. It was it was November of last year, yeah. It was definitely November of last year, yeah. So o almost a year since we've seen this competitively. Maybe it's been picked up once or twice since then, but it, it obviously didn't have a big impact. Nothing that we're remembering. Wow. Tier right. though expecting it. He picks up that Emerald Talisman very early. That's going to be... I mean, he's not going to be taking any damage from Sausage. It's, it's like laughable damage. But he's got to be careful about Zephyr. Um, if Zephyr rotates in and gets a big Unchained Fearless, or rather Brutalized, there's nothing for him to do about it but try to heal through it. Neither team looks like they want to look to invade, and we haven't really seen too many invades come out for Very this split. Curious. I think a lot of teams are still testing the waters, and I think they want to see, you know, once we see these teams' SPL games, how do they start? What do they do? How can we counter it? That ward right there, uh, that is a blue wards item? Yes. Yes. So they shouldn't know that this is happening, but the mid laner is going to spot this out. Vote MBK. He's actually going to go look My to man. try and contest this here, and Rins is going to spot it out, and actually going to take a significant amount of poke oh! damage. Ooh, four autos in a row. Uh, it was actually five. He got, he got the original one off to yep. get the Audacity, and then four of the Audacity. That was really big. Irons is already under half in this lane, and he only has one health potion. He hasn't popped it yet, but he's matched against a, or, or matched up against a Sylvanas. I mean, their the potential steal. lane push is done. Are they not going to go into the jungle here? 
Wow. Okay. Uh, right camps, it looks like that one's going to go to red. We know that left side went to blue as they started over there. So uh, Fex is going to hurt a little bit. He's definitely going to bleed out from not having that extra experience. Don't expect him to be hitting level four very quickly. No, and a lot of poke coming out on his upper already. Shadow Nightmare. That's a ton of poke on both those players. Frostiac, and though. Missed we're, the auto attack. Yeah, just barely. But we're actually going to see an early rotation to this duel lane. You can already see Vote MBK and QN just trying to back up, knowing that it's coming. Frosty's level two. He should really be farming at this point. Looks like he's going to go back to mid lane just to do that. Yeah, he's only level two, though. Not high on the experience. Uh -oh. And Fex says, so if Shadow Nightmare hit the other one, that would have gone. But Zephyr's going to turn it quickly, brutalize, and that's going to finish it off for first blood. Um, so before, when Frostyak teleported in, he and he missed the auto attack, that was on Fexus, correct? So that, that little drop, that l slight mechanical yep, mishap, right. uh, just is showing that you, we will not allow you to make mistakes against us. And right there, Frosty X should have had first blood. Instead, it goes the way of justice. Yeah, Zephyr picking up a first blood. That's that's very strong. We already expected to have this Finrear be very aggressive into the jungle, but thanks to Shadow Nightmare, Dignitas was countering it by a lot. I mean, they were poking out mid lane, they were poking out the jungle, and they couldn't really do much. But now, with that kill on board, Zephyr's already looking to be aggressive. By the way, that purple on the top side is still there. Yeah, Vote MBK just grabbed his own, so Justice a little bit scared to try and counter that. I mean, now it's not going to be as easy. Well, Frostyak rotates over, and this is smart, right? Try to get some experience here. Even if they have to split it, uh, they should give some of that experience to Renz, though. But he's staying in lane? Will he hit it? No, he's definitely, he definitely got that over the wall. That was pretty far. I, I think it would still right. Ever since it got reverted, it's That's pretty true. easy to get those experience a 80, markers. 80 units is, is, a, is a pretty long range. Sausage versus Snakeskin. Sausage winning out here. Snakeskin, he went that Emerald Talisman, and he, he's really not going to be in kill potential in a 1v1 matchup, but he, he doesn't should. have any extra damage to help clear the wave, so he should have Sausage should right be controlling there, this. Picked up the Stone of Gaia, uh, and then, yeah, he's backing out. Stone of Gaia is going to be done. He's a few gold away teleport? from being able to pick up the teleport, and there it is. Yep, just barely got it in time. You can see him sitting with 13 gold in it. Perfectly timed back from Sausage. Yeah, really good. Doesn't lose any experience there as well. Uh, this is going to allow him to stay a little bit harder. Now, Stone of Gaia is a pretty decent upgrade. It's not like a doubling like a lot of other items are, but it's going to prevent uh, Sausage from being able to kill him outright. With that, I'm looking at Zephyr for the rotation. If he makes the rotation over, there's a good chance that he can get that kill. Especially with the lack of wards. I mean, Snakeskin backed and, and, and timed it perfectly there to get the teleport, but he didn't have enough rewards. And if if we can see Justice uh, like target that out, oh, wait, we should camps. see Zephyr rotate over. Wow, look at this. Justice pushing them out completely. Fire Shard's going to be used. Uh, not really sure what they were looking for on that one. Maybe just seeing where Vision. the rotations were coming from, using it as a ward. Very smart. Yeah, we saw that a lot coming out from Lassus when we saw it in the mid lane. And, and maybe that's the thing, right? I mean, Newwall doesn't have a very good mid harpy presence. Oh, but a big fight in mid. Yeah, that's guaranteed. He's going to pull him back, though, by killing the target in the mouth. They stopped him from being able to get away. They might have Zephyr's just gone. sealed his fate here. Yeah, Frezzo going to pick up that kill. And now Q and Infexus, they're trying to fight it. Frezzo's very low. No bombs available for Fexus, though. Oh, just one, but it's not going to be enough damage, and I think he recognizes that. One more auto attack. He needs it. He oh, doesn't he find it. Vex is not finding that one hit. It will be a one for one trade in the end. So many close fights coming out. First, Vex says barely avoids death, sitting at one health. And right there, Frezzo had to be under 10. So, you know, I go back to it. Because they killed the mid laner so quickly, uh, or rather, I'm sorry, because they killed the, uh, the Humba so quickly, they put. Fenrir in a bad spot because as the player dies, you lose your CC immunity because Ragnarok ends. Had they waited another quarter of a second, Fenrir would not have been pulled. Nope. Frostyak, though, going to be starting up his own buffs here, and it looks like just a general reset around the map. Justice, though, they're leading by about 700 gold. A good start for them. Remember, though, uh, Fenrir did start with a red pot comparatively to Hunbots who did not. So he it, grabbed first blood. I mean, it's it's more than worth. Not only did he grab first blood, but he's gained more XP and more gold around the map because of shutting down Frostyak early. And you can already see that shown in a 600 gold lead. That's right. But he's got to keep that lead, you know, above treading water, right? A 450 gold lead spells no just dash. the experience. Oh, no. Shadow Nightmare should still be able to pick this up. Was that a beads usage? Yes, yes that was. was a beads usage. 
I like that too because he waited for so long. CC immunity. Zephyr's going to be fine, Got but he's him. still looking for Frezzo. And Q is actually going to blink over the wall. Frezzo, can he make it back to the protection in time? Yes, no. Vote MBK rotates in and picks up that kill anyway. Shadow Nightmare very low right now. Needs to be extremely wary of his positioning. Uh, Rama, is he taking to the sky here? He's, no, he was looking for the opportunity to, seeing if there was a chance to get the kill, but he doesn't go for it in the end. Zephyr was pretty low, but uh, Iron's not able to rotate over in time to find that here. Sausage, meanwhile, sitting in solo lane, continuing to push out Snakeskin. So even with that Stone of Gaia, Sausage controlling this lane, about a 200 direct gold lead. Sausage not really taking all that much damage either. Nothing at all. Not a lot of damage in return, but the tower damage is a big deal. Sitting on its light. Oh, hello. Snake skin? I Black. guess. Wave clear? He definitely wanted wave clear, but I don't think that was anything where he really needs to use that. Maybe a bit of frustration. I mean, he just blinked on to Sausage and did basically no damage to him. Yeah, that was that was strange. That was strange. Uh, even so, uh, Tier not in a great spot. You see the tower still getting very low. He's starting to make a, a rather awkward rotation. Maybe he's just warding there, but he can't afford to be lax on the push. If Nua has any liberty whatsoever, she'll throw minions into that tower and take it down in a heartbeat. And we actually see a ping out. I'm pretty sure Sausage recognized that that ward was there, pings it out, and now Zephyr gonna find Snakeskin. He has no physical defense, but he's still Tier. He has he's a still, little bit he's of still in, He's in blue stance, so he's got that. Yeah, he's got that 10, I think it is, right? Hey, it, it stacks. Uh, Boat MBK is probably dead. No, he's definitely dead. Iron's going to pick up that kill. That's a good look for him. Uh, really evening it up in this matchup. He's about 200 gold lead, but over on the right hand, saying it's Snakeskin getting dove. Oh, missed on the Unchained, Brutalized, doing some damage. He's stuck completely out of position. It's up to Snakeskin at this point, just to try to waste as much time as possible. Yeah, there's no way he's getting away, and it will go to Zephyr. Zephyr picking up his second kill of the game. By the way, we didn't talk about the fact that Irens used to be a part of Justice. Yeah. Maybe not a grudge match per se. Uh, I don't know that there was any I don't think bad it's a grudge blood. match at all. I mean, I, I always see a lot of the members of Justice tweeting out him wishing. In week one, we actually saw multiple members wishing Iron's good luck awesome. in his matchup. That's awesome. Uh, Frezzo taking some damage. Not a lot of pressure into the tier one here. No experience wasted, although there was a quite a bit of gold drop there due to the tower stripping away that gold. Yeah, you know, a little bit of... Ooh. Blink in by Q and going to miss a little bit of history onto that. And and what happened really there was Irons wasn't going to be, he was going to be out of town or or in school and wasn't going to be able to make, oh, speak of the double O, Sausage getting ganked. Yeah, Sausage in a lot of trouble here, diving deep. He's trying to stay alive. Good positioning, but didn't have the cooldowns in time. Could turn it around though. Brutalize going to find one. Snakeskin once again trying to run away from the dog. No ultimates available on no. either side as Q and comes in. Can he find the root? He's definitely going to be able to find the root. Got Wrath it. of Terror though should completed it. Vex says, what? Wait, what? He healed up. He was in My defensive Lord. stance. Even Qin was surprised. <laughs> we were riding along with him. He walks away thinking the kill's going to happen. Turns back around and Sausage is still, or uh, excuse me, Snakeskin is still alive. Wow. Okay, so um, at this point, this tower is going down pretty much for free. Qin's going to see the rotation in from Shadow Nightmare. Are they going to allow him to keep this tower alive? Oh. Qin backed? Qin definitely backed. Zephyr he should be able to escape it out of this. Yeah, jump up in one more second. Snakeskin going to rotate back to that lane. <laughs> Qin's like, come on, man. You're fine. You're Fenrir. <laughs> That's what he said. He's like, I, I think you'll be fine. <laughs> see Backs you later. Anyway. <laughs> uh, jumping to the back line here, you're going to see him uh, just going for the back camps, getting some extra gold, using uh, that Bumba's mask as well to heal up. Ren's tanking up a lot of damage from Archers. He's, He's look looking for it. for it. One. Needs two here. Two. He's, He's got, got it in hit one. It. <laughs> Those are not that easy to hit, especially in that 1v1 situation. Vote MBK basically just running in a circle. Looking for two. Q and will get pulled here. No ultimate available. But nice stun from Agni washes the fight out. Yeah, Fex says keeping them at bay. And with really fear no evil, it just came up. So Frostiac had that on cooldown. If it was there at the start of that fight, we might have seen it. But Dignitas not really keeping that together. Zephyr going to drag one under tower here. Three to follow. Iron's actually going to dash the other way and try and turn this. But Fire Shards will pick it up. I respect that. A lot, a big rotation, though, coming out from Dig. This should they should have just went right to the Gold Fury. With all they just spent, they should just go right to the Gold Fury. Circle protection's up. They have Fear No Evil to keep them at bay, but they don't Dignitas see it. Dignitas not electing. They don't see it. That's trouble. You know, it's always easier to call it from the bird's eye view. We have a complete vision of the map. You know, we, we know where wards are. We know what ults are up. Right there, they had the opportunity, but perhaps not the information. 
No, Vote MBK and Q are gonna be pushing up this lane. Zephyr continuing to farm his own jungle. There's been a lot of small engagements, but no real big team fights we've seen so far. Mostly just kind of pickoffs and then counter engages coming out from the junglers. So we're 11 minutes in here. Uh, the game's been pretty quiet. Nine kills, not a ton of action, no objectives yet really, except for this right tower, which I don't know, maybe will go down this time. Who knows? Eventually. God bless next new time. minions, by the way. Snake's thing gonna ult away from there. Just barely living, actually. I didn't expect him to take that much damage, but Zephyr, you know, with only the Stone of Gaia and Boots, Snakeskin doesn't have that much physical defense, and this should finally be the tower. The minion's gonna tank that up smartly, and Zephyr and Sausage will take the first tower of the game. You know, we talked about before, you know, both of these teams are considered, you know, the bottom seeds in Europe, right? So a win here for either team does a lot because if a 2-0 occurs here, the team that loses, that's that's beyond tilt, right? That That's going to start be start the conversation of what do we really need to change. It gets into that dark territory, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And with this, Justice having a strong start against such a seasoned lineup could really get those, like, juices flowing for the game. They, they could be looking for those big plays and that might actually wind up hurting them if they try to get too fancy. But so far, it seems like they're playing really textbook. Yeah, they've been playing really well, but Vexus could get caught out. He's going to have to beat there. A little bit early. So, though, alt coming through. Circle protection drop. Vexus, there's nowhere for him to go. Shadow Nightmare going to detonate that. Qin, though, keeping up the chase, looking like he wants to fight. Snakeskin has rotated in response, though. Going to lock Qin out of tower here. Spirit Ball comes through. Hits three. Three man Wrath the Terror as well. Volt MBK takes out one. Qin falls in response. Zephyr just Whoa, trying to get out the Shadow. Shadow Nightmare. Nightmare. Going real deep for that one. They're still trying to fight this under the tier one. Shadow very low right now. Spear Paul not going to land. Deep into it. Bead's going to be forced away. Snakeskin taking a lot of damage. Stays alive, but Renz will fall once again. Huge rotation coming out from Snakeskin there. Not only knocking Qin out of tower, but baiting one? all of Justice into that fight. We saw them all group up on Qin. Shadow Nightmare comes with a huge spear ball, hitting two. Vote MPK falls, and then just all of Justice pile in. And Snakeskin continuing to be aggressive. Can Frezzo find the chain? Nope. Doesn't even need it. Doesn't even need it because he throws the minions out. All three minions get locked in the Fearless. He cleans them up, removing any CC potential that Nua would have had. They take down the Tier 1. Dignitas answers back in spades. And Zaiden to the graphs. 700 gold lead for Dignitas. But, I mean, look at that. That was all going in just his favor. Not a huge lead, but you could see them being consistent. They had about a 1,000 gold lead. That's a 1,500 gold swing off of that just last fight. Man, that was an incredible turn. For a dig. I mean, they had that first kill, but they wasted so many ultimates just trying to kill the Agni that it seemed like the turnaround potential was massive there, but it winds up not turning out enough damage. Team Dignitas is able to group up, form, form a strategy that would really work for them, and a lot of that came down to Renz's rotation, was able to keep up with the Apollo using that global ultimate, getting damage from the sky, and then a perfect dive. Yeah, and speaking of that, even without the Gold Fury being taken once. 1,000 gold lead coming out from Irons. He's sitting at 4, 1, and 0. And many players were wondering, with Young Bay gone, could this Nick team even fight? And it appears they can. Qin in trouble here, using his ultimate as a defensive escape here. But Frezzo, undeterred, finds uh, knock up immunity there and just goes right for it. Yep, Snakeskin, though, he's going to be bullying out Sausage in the solo lane. Meanwhile, he's trying to steal away this blue. He's actually just going to dive him under tower, and this is how tanky Tyr can get. Justice trying to make the defense here. It looks like Dignitas will be deterred for now. They were just trying to sneak it. They, they weren't trying to commit. Honestly, they should have been trying for the bait. We maybe should have even saw Blink come out there. Does anyone have one no. available? There's there's no alts up coming out for Dignitas. I mean, fear no evil, circle protection. Triple. Good damage as well. Nothing. Nope. But a big rotation. Shadow Nightmare still sitting around this corner. Snakeskin able to solo out Sausage finally. And Snakeskin, who wasn't having the best lane, has now turned it around completely. You know, I'm looking at Sausage for this one. It, it's, it's getting harder for him now because the God Pool is starting to really come out. And he's going into Nua, not a very celebrated solo laner. And despite the fact that he did get the tower, it, it's, he's already given it back. Yeah, Zephyr, huge rotation. Q, and he's looking for the multi-man Wrath of Terra. Vex has two. Wow. Zephyr's going to blow up Shadow Nightmare before he can even get away. Frezzo going to be pulled back. Zephyr, but he, Frezzo actually got pulled into Zephyr. And now Zephyr's going to hit, hit, hit by the Pyrano Evil. Frosty Eye picks up that kill. 
Ren's in some trouble here. Low mana. Does he have enough to roll away? Will Fex has decided to commit. It looks like neither seems to be relevant. Uh-oh. CC immunity? No beads. Both got him. Ooh, just barely. Early from Frostyak there. Should have recognized the beads. I like that they waited to the end to beads it as well to make sure that they baited out any other attacks. They didn't miss the beads timing. Yeah, meanwhile though, Snakeskin has been sitting over in this right lane that entire time. Finished the tier one tower, pushed a bunch of waves, and now stealing away the blue. Snakeskin has a has a hefty lead on Sausage at this point. Let's see the uh, golden hand here as Sausage tries to make the play. Does he steal it? Did he get that? Yes, yeah, he, he did. secured his own buff. A uh, golden hand has enough to finish that Jotun, so penetration and a huge damage spike about to come online. Yeah, not only that, he already has tier two blink and tier three teleport, so Snakeskin very far ahead at this point in the game. It's it's looking good for him. I mean, again, they're they're just trying to abuse the Nua, and they're doing it well. Nua uh, going into Obsidian Shard here. Now, this is always the correct pickup when you're playing Isis. Or, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Nua, just because your fire shards are going to do way more damage across the map with this than they will with Spear. Right, you may not have that set up out, outside of that. Not to mention they already have the spear, so the comparable damage is now vastly in favor of the Obsidian Shard. This is going to put Nua in a slight position of power, so she's going to want to use her Fire Shards almost every single time that Agni gets a Path of Flames dash off. Gold Fury starting to be circled once again. But MBK going to counter ward there, but a lot of counter wards in Team Dignitas Pockets 4, oh, actually. And we actually have a teleport coming out from Snakeskin here. They're looking for a pick. They want to force this gold here. They know they're in the power position. Snakeskin going to come back. It's likely we're not going to see him do too much of the gold here. He's going to try to play the front. Vision. Nice use of vision there. Again, a little bit, maybe a little it's bit already under half. Gold's already under half. Snakeskin yeah, zoning everyone out. Qin though, he's going to blink in. He actually might be able to steal it. This is going to be very close. Circle protection, though, should secure it. Dignitas grabs the Gold Fury. Again, getting out of that Ragnarok chase to make sure that the pole goes off. It's the second time we've seen it. Now, Qin has fallen, but they've traded out Shadow Nightmare for this. Ren's in the sky, finds one. Two, third shot, gonna hit three different targets. No kills just yet, but there goes one. Frezzo finds it. Zephyr's out of position. I he's don't gone. see him getting away. There's no way he's gonna get out of this. Snakeskin, though, he's actually gonna get juked out. Zephyr continuing to juke. Oh Sausage my. picks up Irons in the back. Frostyak, though, will chase down Zephyr. That's gonna be a 4-4-2 four, four, and Gold Fury, and maybe uh -oh. a Dia side. Oh, Frezzy off the mark on that second one. Shining Metal damage. Could be big there. Sausage taking a lot, though. Forced to beats. Will fall. And that's going to be a deicide. One for five in favor of Dig plus the Gold Fury. And Zayden back to the ground. 5,700. Look at that swing in just the past couple minutes. Dignitas in full control of this game. They're going to be taking this tier two as well. Going to extend their gold lead to 7,500 at only 18 minutes. And this really doesn't seem like a 7,500 gold lead game. These teams have been relatively close all match up. You know, it's funny because it seems like the fights are going evenly because they're lasting so long. But what's actually happening is that Dignitas is maybe dropping one person in a one for one and then turning the 4v4 somehow into a massacre. It's just killing fields. Big damage items coming out online as well after that huge gold swing. Deathbringer finished for Frostyak. That's such a good item for Hunbats. He can't, he, he's not too tanky and it's a little bit risky against Agni's bombs once it, if he jumps in, but with that blink, Hunbats is so much safer. Blink Fear No Evil is one of the strongest initiates in the game for the fall split. You know, what I love too is Blink Fear No Evil, he throws down the teleport for the option to escape to a backline or to the side of the fight and then still has his jump available as well. It's just so hard to catch a character in that position. Speaking of catching a character, Sausage caught out in his own blue buff here. Three man pool coming out from Frezzo, CC immunity is coming through, but Justice, they're looking bad in this spot. Oh, this time Frostyax taking a lot of damage here. No, but they already killed Sausage. Snakeskin still going strong in the back line. We're going to see. Can they do any damage Gordon here? Gordon dives into three? That's a little bit questionable, but Fex says he damage. wants to fight. Chains come through. Circle protection. Fex says locked in place. He's going to fall. Had his beads burned early Got in that him. fight. Not available when he needed them. Renz comes in with huge Jeez. snipes as well. Zephyr could fall. Snakeskin trying to chase him down. Not enough mana. Q in with a great root to keep him at bay. Spire giant. They're going to get a tier two on right. They're working towards a tier two in mid. They should immediately turn their sights to the fire giant right now, unless they're going to just bum rush this Phoenix. No, they're, it looks like they want to focus on the towers. Rins split pushes mid as well. They must have a decent amount of gold in hand and just not wanting to risk it. Fire giant, 
No matter how good it looks, all it takes is one ability. There's no hog anymore. Normally, I agree 100%, but with having Ares on the team and the fact that their only real steal potential was going to be Fenrir, that looked like a guaranteed win to me. I mean, just sending Frezzo out there, waiting for Zephyr to jump or even throw a Brutalize, the chains would have been guaranteed, and they could have just burned down the kill plus the Fire Giant. Vision coming out from Sausage once again. They're just trying to see if they were on Fire Giant. Smart. I like it. Sausage just trying to farm up this this left side lane. I want to talk about Frezzo, though. He's level 18. I mean, even when you're ahead, your team <laughs> is ahead, you never see the supports on par with the Hunters. He's actually, he has, he's a higher level than Shadow Nightmare yeah, right now. Yeah, he's a higher level than mid. 7, 1, and 11. Frezzo has been on point, and he's waiting to pick up, it looks like, Ethereal Staff. That is insane. Uh, I, that's just, uh, that's on another level, man. Like, you should... Frezzo, this is the first time I think we've seen him play in months where we are going back to last season. We're like, that guy could make worlds. Oh, no, he got CDR boots. And, yeah, Frezzo, Frezzo is looking strong. I love that build, too, that Witchblade. So smart. Shutting down a lot of damage from Fenrir, shutting down damage from MBK. I mean, this is the kind of build that you need to try to take wins. Dig. They're going to be starting up Fire what Giant, though. Snakeskin just zoning out three, and Zephyr taking a huge amount of damage. Justice can't even get close to it. Dig secure the Fire Giant. I think the whole point of using the Fire Shards early was to see if they were doing Fire Giant. And when they noticed they weren't, they should have been trying to defend it. They just I, let that go for free. I mean, it's, it's risky. I'm assuming they weren't going to... Their plan was obviously not to commit to it, but maybe they should have started Dignitas pushing this Phoenix, though. Blink in by two. Uh, only going to find one here. Frezzy trying to pull. Not going to get it. Ragnarok going to be activated. Uh, already dead, though. Zephyr's gone. Yeah, Zephyr just caught on the wrong side of that fight. Fire Shards come out just trying to get damage off. Woo! And Shadow Nightmare. Huge Ren snipes. Again. Jeez, man. The guy can't be stopped. Sausage getting into the fountain there. Snakeskin tries to stop his path in. Phoenix going to fall. They're going to turn their sights to Phoenix in the mid lane as we do see uh, another push coming out from Snakeskin. You see him going towards the left just to try to reset the aggro. <laughs> Working through the base now. Snakeskin has just been a huge body. Fear No Evil actually in the middle of the fight though. Sausage trying to stay alive. Justice, or excuse me, Dignitas just playing this safe all game. Gonna go for the third Phoenix, not trying to pile in, not trying to risk anything. They wanna take this win clean. Uh, are they gonna go for the Gold Fury or keep pressuring Snake in? Snakeskin. Oh, yeah, they're still going. Remember though, Ren's kinda low here. Gold Fury is probably the best bet for them right now. Spend some, all right, Snakeskin. No, Snakeskin all just right. wants to fight. Snakeskin wants to be in combat all game. Zephyr already under half, feeds forced. Frezzo gonna take a lot of damage over the wall. Dignitas, they wanna end this. The Titan is still full health. They <laughs> wanna end though, they wanna force See, Justice to fight. See, I don't, I don't think fight. so. I think Snakeskin is going, oh, I'm not a permanent member of this team, <laughs> right? I'm just gonna go back in. This is a ranked game. I'm just <laughs> I'm just trying to farm fantasy points right now. That's what he's doing. Uh, again, Gold Fury still available. Uh, top damage going to Nuwa here, despite the fact that her team is vastly far behind. Shout out to Fire Shards. That was also a lot of poke in lane. Three man, counter blink coming out. Qin uh, trying to find something. Vex is doing decent damage here as well. Frezzo looking for two, will find one. They just don't have the damage. Frostiac takes out Q and Snakeskin once again, diving so deep. Bodhi BK will find Shadow Nightmare, but Rin's coming in with the snipes. Hits one, misses two, Jeez. hits the third. Snakeskin gonna dive into the fountain. No, doesn't even matter though. Dignitas has wiped four with all three Phoenixes down. There's no way this Titan's gonna stand in. Dignitas takes game one. Look at this guy. Teleport, blink right behind her, pulls her out, chains her to lock her down and they pick up the kill for the DSI beforehand. Team Dignitas takes game one. They looked very good in that matchup. That was a convincing win. That and was a very convincing win to me. I, I was a little bit worried about Snakeskin early on. He was obviously getting bullied for uh, by Sausage, and then we actually saw him ult the minion wave when he had all his abilities up to clear it. Little bit of frustration it Strange. looked like, but then that big rotation at about, when was it, 12 minutes for that team fight, yeah. knocks Qin out of tower and baits Justice into the fight, and then Dignitas snowballed it from there. But look how this started, right? Zephyr, it should have been first blood for Dignitas. Frostiak wound up dropping it, and then Fenrir is just like, oh, wait, I can Brutalize. just do whatever I want because I'm Fenrir. Yeah, once that silence and Spirit Ball are down, that's when Fenrir really has a strong magic against Isis because then she's just stuck taking damage. And that she did. Shadow Nightmare fell, falling behind pretty early. We saw him fall again. Uh, but when it comes down to it,
Dignitas' chemistry was just a little bit better in the end. They wound up taking the game, player of the game, of course, going to Frezzo. Yeah, we saw big plays coming out from him. Ended the game 7-1-17. and 17. I believe there was 27 kills, so not no 100% kill participation, damn but close. pretty damn close. And you saw him all game getting so many pulls off because they had a lot to burn beads on this team, which was... That, that's when you want Ares to be successful, or that's when Ares has the best games, is when you have the Isis, when you have all I see, these... when you have the ability to run around unchecked throwing flames and chains at everybody. Yeah, and, and he got ahead early, and that's that's when there's a lot of damage coming out from Ares, when he's ahead. One of my favorite parts of this game is where when Dick really turned it around for me, and that's, you have the Fenrir going, you know, he gets the Ragnarok off, they have the jungler in the mouth, right, they're doing the whole dog thing. They kill the Hunbots so quickly that the the no escape yeah. ultimate goes off and pulls Fenrir right as the CC immunity ends. It was a little bit lucky for Dignitas because it was a misplay mm -hmm. on the side of Justice, but they took it and they ran with it. Yep. Let's take a look though at really who performed the best. Most likely to be five Dignitas members. I'm assuming I don't. I didn't really see anyone Whoa! coming out. And Frezzo, is that 56 <laughs> point? Is that the highest we've had? We had. Allied at 56 point something as well. Uh, production might be able to refresh my memory, but at, at at the worst case, it looks like he's tied or better. Who draft? Let's be honest though. Who drafted Frezzo? Not many people. Someone. Ma maybe you need today. to start looking at it though. Maybe you need to start looking at it. There's still a second game coming up though, and looking forward, Justice Sausage is going to have to pick a higher impact god in my opinion. I think that was the big weakness coming up from them. Nua just doesn't do enough in the solo lane. We saw it there and then after about 15 minutes we actually saw Snakeskin able to solo him out. Nua just doesn't have that effectiveness and Sausage I think is a big key to their team. I agree. I mean once that hell locked away you know I even talked about it before the Picks and Vans uh, really went all the way through. You lock away hell what is the guy playing? Nua is generally not seen as an acceptable pick in that lane. It's almost trolly.